One of our viewers has asked me how to do multiple text callouts, how to track them and how to do keyframing if you would like to move them out from the clip before clip ends. So today's tutorial is somehow a follow up from the previous one. Follow this link. And today I'm going to show you how to do it fast and easy in DaVinci Resolve 17 free version. Let's get started, but first as usual, let's see today's intro. Welcome to another tutorial in DaVinci Resolve 17. Today I'm going to show you how to do multiple callouts and text tracking in DaVinci Resolve 17 free version. So currently we are in edit page, so let's jump to media pool and I'm going to grab a video clip, put it on my timeline. I'm going to shorten a little bit from both sides uh, like this. So it's going to be approximately 9 seconds, uh, not too bad, so uh, 10 seconds will be okay. So let's highlight this video clip, put the play hat approximately in the middle and let's jump to Fusion page. In Fusion page we're going to grab some additional nodes, so let's press shift and spacebar and just put the planner tracker in and go and add one, just repeat again, add another one and another one. So we have three different planet trackers that just disconnect them and uh, let's go with the first one, press shift and put it so when the color is changed in blue and just put it in the between the media in and media out. So just grab another one and the third one so connect them with media in so media in with planet tracker and let's start working so now what we need to do let's go to inspector you can see here a lot of tools that we are gonna use so let's put the play hat on the beginning and uh, press to set 236 frames uh, and next thing is let's change the point to hybrid point area tracker so in motion type we're gonna change to translation so next thing is let's go to the first cyclist and we're gonna put some say circle around his helmet and face and next thing is let's press this player here which is track to the end. So now the planet tracker will track this first cyclist to, to get the information regarding his movement. Finished. You can see that all is basically uh, recorded in, in the real time. So let's go to planet tracker 2. Same Thing. So let's put the play hat on the beginning, go to set, it's going to go to hybrid, hybrid point and this one motion type to translation. So let's put some kind of circle around his helmet and face. So the, the tracker have some orientation where how to track and where to track so let's press this one now you can see that the the video clip it's not moving it's moving behind because we didn't connect this with media out we don't need to so let's go to planet tracker 3 so the same thing we have to do is put the play hat to the beginning press set go to tracker hybrid point and motion type translation let's put on his helmet as well some orientation or some like circle and 
be careful you need to finish the circle so let's zoom out and let's press press this player head so you can see here that tracker is moving but we can't see it very well so if we, we grab uh, our playhead you can see that it's everything it's okay so no problem at all so let's go to planner tracker one and let's press create planner transform we have one here that's good so go to planner tracker number two press the same so we have another one here and let's go for the third one and press create planner transform for this one as well so we can put it one aside all others so let's highlight these three and delete them so next step is because we have all the information needed we have in this planet tracker transform so let's connect these to media one this one to merge one and this one to merge two so let's move this one a little bit right and next thing what we need to do is let's go to effect library go to edit templates go to titles and we have callouts here so grab three of them so now we have three of them connect to yellow triangle all of them so now we have all of all three of them so we can close that one open inspector again so let's start with the first one so we're gonna put the color this crazy color here okay and we're gonna change the color of the line we're gonna use yellow bright bright yellow so you can see here that we have have it here so let's grab put on his helmet we're gonna change the fonts as well and the size so let's go with area bold oops area bold you can change the size to 0 0.03 and we're gonna just put like rider number one and let's go to second one let's first change the color we're gonna go with dark blue like this so we can see it here we're gonna change to yellow line as well okay so we have it here put, put his helmet and let's change the size 0 0.03 and we gonna change the position a little bit more like like this and we're gonna put the name right there two and let's jump to the last one so we're gonna change color first you know, with orangey red orangey color you can change the colors whatever you want so basically it doesn't matter really so this would be brighter number three and we're gonna change the font for this Arial, and we're gonna with bold and we're going to change the size as well 0 0.03 and we're going to move this to his helmet and change the position you can change the position basically here as well so you can move it by hand or you can move it here on this dial and uh, let's change the color of the line as well so bright yellow and we have we forgot something here so we can go to this one and put it bold and change it to aerial and that's basically it so now we have all three of them 
you can see here that uh, yeah the computer have to, to do check first so we can go here let's check playback render check smart okay I, I don't want to to use uh, proxy so that's why I'm rather go with maybe if you, if you have uh, less RAM or less GPU just go and and use proxy and uh, it will be faster and more more appropriate probably for those who have uh, like slow computers so let's see what we have done so you can see that all three of them they have these callouts and they are following their movement so very nice so the next thing that uh, the viewer asked me so if we have video and we have two different person in one short clip and uh, there is no need of call out for one of them how to do it it's basically easy so let's jump back to fusion page let's decide let's say that uh, we we're gonna move this call out from the, the rider number two so go directly to merge open inspector it's quite easy so let's go to frame 370 and we're gonna go to size and we're gonna create keyframe it just go one frame ahead and put the size to zero and that's it it's so easy but in, in, in case that you will need probably to put back this uh, call out you can still decide to go okay let's go back and put it on frame 500 and we're gonna put it back so one thing is just put the play hat on uh, frame five, 500 so let's keyframe it uh, go one frame ahead oh, sorry one frame ahead and uh, just put one and that's it so now we can see what we have done here see so let's go with the full preview so let's play through now we're gonna see the rider 2 we, we have deleted or remove it and put it back again so there is no problem if you have multiple subject in one shot in one short shot just do it like that and uh, it's really easy nothing to worry about so this is it for today if you have any other questions regarding this uh, tutorial today uh, let me know down in comments uh, otherwise see you next time hope you have all relevant information needed to proceed with your project if you find this tutorial helpful hit that thumbs up leave your feedback suggestion or comments below and if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe and you are all most welcome to watch my other tutorials as well see you all next time have a good one